Why, thank you. You're bringing me a toy? Thank you. They just they just got back from the hairdresser. I mean, they, it was yesterday I had them. I had a mobile groomer come to my house. And uh, she looks a little silly, you know. <laughs> And I saw the little turd <laughs> moving. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> heck? I never saw a colorful one. You'd think such a colorful little bug would, would eat something more interesting. But anyway, I'm just mesmerized. I don't know, you know? I mean, why, what does he want with that thing? Scared him. I don't want to scare the thing. Boom. Now he jump. That's hard to push it across the rocks. Is he trying to dig into the ground? What's he gonna do? Okay, oh, okay, he's trying to get into the ground. He wants to bury his little turd, and he can't because the rocks are in the way. I should help him out. I should maybe take him next door where there's actually a yard. Hmm. He's trying to bury it. I don't see how he's going to do it. It's too much work. I'm going to try to put him over in... The, there's a little part of my yard where there's dirt. I'm going to take the whole... Con concoction over there and see if he does it. Okay. okay, there we go. See, now he's working. He climbed underneath it. He's underneath it right now. Uh, let's see if it starts moving. I think he's making a hole. Yeah, look at how it's moving. He's making a hole, apparently. And, yeah, he's going to try to bury it. All right, I decided to put, like, a little cage around it, uh, like sort of a teepee. But of course the sides are open because I don't want to keep out lizards and the bugs and stuff. So, And it appears to be a little bit more sunk. And every so often I see it moving. So, and you see how the, there's a lizard coming, see? The, the, he's looking at me, but if I stay really still. But see how it is, it also attracts lizards, so the lizards eat the bugs. Yeah, it's moving still, so he's, I guess he's burying it. I can't really tell from this angle. I just don't know what he's doing with it. It doesn't, but see how it's like, it's moving, but I, I guess he's just making a big hole. I still don't understand exactly what he's doing, but nice fly. And is he trying to pull it out of there? Did I like, oh, he's breaking it. it. Looks like he's breaking through it. It looks like he's biting through and maybe he's gonna try to break it. There we go, and there, okay. All right, look at that. I was thinking it was kind of big. I, it, I was thinking to myself, why doesn't he make it smaller? <laughs> so he apparently was a step ahead of me. I think he knows what he's doing. He's probably done it before. So I'm going to take this away now because apparently he doesn't need it. He's really working quickly. So, um, But from what I can tell, he is spinning it in a circle, like a sort of a corkscrew. So I'm going to remove the protective coat because apparently he doesn't need it. <gasps> I hope I don't miss any. Here, I, I put this back, but sort of farther away from where he actually is, so we could get a view from the top. I don't see him. He's underneath it. Well, I've got an errand to run, so I'll probably miss something really exciting, but at this point, we can kind of predict what's going to happen. For my errand, and my errand took me probably about 15 minutes, and everything's pretty much gone. There we go. There he is, and now he's on top of it. It's so pretty the way he... I'm gonna get a light. Oh, he's... 
Maybe he's afraid to come out because I got the camera in his face. And then I assume the next step then is to cover up the hole. Okay, now there's dirt on top of him. He's covering himself up. So here, I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna put this thing back so that we'll have a place to know where it is. And we can figure out, because if he covers it up, we may not be able to find it again. So that's it, so I circled the thing with rocks, because you can't even see it anymore. See, he's, he's completely covered up the hole, and that's the end of that. It's all gone. And it just, if, if it weren't for the rocks being there, you wouldn't even notice that anything was different with your lawn. Now, those of you who know anything about gardening, it seems to me, I'm just gonna make it look so you could see how, how normal it looks now. It seems to me that these would be good for your garden. I, unless, I don't know if they eat, um, you know, lettuce or whatever, you know, like let's say you planted lettuce or some kind of vegetables. It seems to me that these would be good bugs to have in your garden because they fertilize and they aerate the soil, you know, by digging in the soil and burying little uh, things. So let's say you use manure to fertilize your garden. This is completely me not knowing anything. It just seems to me that these are good bugs to have in your in your in your garden. What do you think? Have a nice evening, guys.